Hello my friends. Today I'm going to show you how to make watermelon syrup, fruit leather, and uh, we're going to use the rind also. Okay, what I do first is remove the end of the watermelon. Like that. Cut it in half. Set one side. Then remove the outer part. The rind we can save and use it to make watermelon rind candy, which I have a previous video showing how to do that. Okay, then be careful doing this. Do the same with the other side. Next we're going to extract the juice from the watermelon and I have a Jack LaLanne juicer and if you don't have that you can use a blender or just use a like potato masher. Smash it up and then filter it uh, through a sieve and possibly line with cheesecloth. So we're going to add this to the Jack Lane. This will extract the juice and leave us the pulp. Watermelon is 90% water, so you're going to get a lot of water compared to the pulp. Here we have the entire watermelon juiced. Took two minutes. Here's the pulp. This is an entire watermelon. Not a lot of watermelon. Like I said, 90% water and there's still lots of liquid in there. For every four cups of liquid you're going to add one cup of sugar. So I measured 12 cups of liquid. When you're heating this you may find that this will uh, foam. So to reduce the foam add about a teaspoon of butter and that will break the foam. As you're boiling this, you can remove what's floating. And you can add it into your fruit leather mix. Now to this puree, I'm going to add one tablespoon of honey for each cup. So that whole watermelon left me with one and a half cups. So this is raw honey and I'm going to add approximately one and a half to two tablespoons of the honey. And of course mix it well. Now I lined a cookie sheet, a small cookie sheet with wax paper 
and I also misted the wax paper with uh, olive oil and we're going to put the puree onto this and we want it spread out roughly a quarter inch thick and I'm going to put this in my dehydrator if you don't have a dehydrator you could put it in a low oven set it to about 170 degrees and roughly five or six hours this should be finished and right here you can see an entire watermelon if you uh, don't want to make watermelon rind candy you could hear my rooster out there crowing you can feed the rinds to the chickens and that's what I just did but the uh, candy is in another video I'll put a link to it if you want uh, this was a seedless you can see the little specks of the white seed but uh, I eat the seeds in watermelon. The seeds have, are real high in uh, protein and oil. So that's probably the healthier part of the watermelon. So if you're going to run this in a food processor or a blender, you can put the seeds right in it and uh, chop it up. And uh, dry the seeds right in with the fruit leather. Here I have my dehydrator on. I have the timer set for around 10 to 12 hours. And uh, the temperature setting, uh, there is a scale right here and it will tell you for fruit and leather. So it's this range right in here. So we'll let it go. I have a candy thermometer in here and uh, this we're still reducing it down and we heat this until it's at the syrup stage which is 230 degrees Fahrenheit or 110 degrees centigrade as this gets close to the proper temperature you have to watch it real and keep an eye real close on it so it doesn't uh, overheat and boil over um, you'll notice that the bubbles are behaving differently as it gets closer to the syrup and we only got about four more degrees and let's see you can see that it's thickening up and the bubbles aren't breaking quite as readily it's hanging together okay we reached our temperature and what I did is I lined a sieve with cheesecloth and I have it over a metal bowl the temperature is 230 degrees Fahrenheit or 110 degrees centigrade what watermelon didn't make it through <clears throat> your sieve has made an amazing jam mmm is that good watermelon syrup over ice cream the fruit leather is still in the dehydrator um, that's got a few more hours ago the syrup is finished it's still warm and what we ended up with is about four cups of syrup we have here what would not go through the sieve or the cheesecloth and what this is is
jelly. And we're going to taste it. Oh, that's amazing. That is really, really good. And what I have here is ice cream with watermelon syrup. It's a quick recipe to do, not many ingredients. Mm. This is the morning, this is my breakfast. It's amazing. It took about 45 minutes to an hour to reduce that volume of liquid down to a syrup. And I don't feel guilty at all eating that ice cream for breakfast. I'll work it off. Mm. This should keep for a very long time, just as any other syrup. Well, once it cools down, I'll put it in the fridge. And I'm sure that fruit leather, when it finishes, it'll be really good also. Here's the watermelon fruit leather. And I'm taking my kitchen shears and trimming this. This has been in the dehydrator <clears throat> for eight hours. And I'm doing this just to clean the edges up. You don't have to do this. And you can still peel it off and eat that. Okay, now the wax paper is still on this. So I'm going to cut this into strips like this and then roll them up. And the wax paper separates them and it comes off pretty easily. Just like that. Health, healthy snack. This is instead of having sugar, I've used the honey. And you can see there's still some seed, but the seeds are there. a healthy part full of protein and the good oils. One reason this dried fairly quick is because I extracted most of the water and made the syrup. Some people go and dehydrate watermelon. To me that just takes too many hours because 90 percent of the volume is water and a dehydrator has to remove that water so we removed most of the water first left the pulp and that allowed us to make our fruit roll-ups here we have our fruit roll-ups just need to peel off the wax paper Great snack. Mm.
right here, other than the one I just ate. That's the, all the pulp from one watermelon. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.